Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mahesh Pele. Uh, welcome to my paper presentation entitled as uh, Evaluation of Efficacy of uh, CT and uh, Ultrasound in Selected Lung Pathologies, a case series study. Objectives of the study is to find out efficacy of CT and lung ultrasound in selected lung pathologies and, I, and whether we could, uh, ultrasound could re, uh, probably could be more reliable, accurate and sensitive bedside tool in diagnosing most of the chest pathologies. Coming to the introduction, uh, ultrasound is becoming uh, emerging as one of the leading modalities and it is considered as third eye of healthcare providers. And the advantages is that uh, it can be easily mobilized, non-invasive, and the non, uh, it utilizes non-ionizing radiations com uh, compared to CT, where uh, uh, it is still considered as the gold standard when it comes to the diagnosing lung pathology, such as pneumothorax, pleural effusions, and consolidations. It is also used for guiding uh, therapeutic procedures, but uh, it, but it, the problem comes when uh, the transportation of patient or uh, the necess where uh, uh, we need more uh, trained personal uh, pers persons such as physicians and uh, cardio res cardio respiratory monitoring is also required. So can ultrasound be uh, can be a reliable alternative to CT? Let's see. It. How we do is a convex tip uh, a probe is used ideally, which is uh, which is about uh, five to eleven megahertz, and a high frequency probe is also used. Convex uh, probe with the uh, uh, low frequencies is to assess the depth of pleural effusions usually, and uh, high frequencies we use for assessment of soft tissue surface uh, pleural, uh, pleural slab, pleura and lung staining movements. Position usually examined in uh, we give patient uh, place the patient in supine or semi recumbent position with arm abducted. <coughs> Dorsal regions of lower lobes are better appreciated in lateral duplicitous position. Assessment areas we usually see anterior, lateral, and posterior zones. Uh, in this, in the next slide, uh, it represents the diagrammatic representation of the zones. We can use either four zone method or eight zone method. Eight zone method includes the posterior aspect, whereas four zone method only anterior and lateral aspects. Coming to ultrasound findings, the lung uh, lung sliding movement is better is uh, is the normal finding what we appreciate in uh, lung ultrasound. Consolidations appears like tissue like sign. The tissue like sign indicates an image in echogenic like liver, which behaves like a tissue. Pleural effusions are quad seen, which is the four lines which are representing pleura, rib fluids, and lung are seen. Pneumothorax, uh, where stratosphere sign is seen, uh, with, that is, there is abolition of the normal lung sliding movement. CT findings consolidations with the presence uh, usually by fairly homogeneous, it appears usually as fairly homogeneous opacities. Pleural effusions, crescent shaped attenuating areas. Pneumothorax appears as a, a gas, a thin rim of gas around the lung margins. Inclusion criteria. Provisionally diagnosed and clinically diagnosed cases of uh, pleural effusion consolidations and pneumothorax. Exclusion criteria with positive uh, COVID positive history and uh, the following uh, as listed in the slide. Methods employed will be ethical clearance will be obtained. Then uh, we uh, provisionally recruit the patients which are diagnosed clinically. And uh, we uh, which uh, those are scheduled for CT will be taken for ultra lung ultrasound protocol. The specific uh, structural pro performer will also be designed. The, to take the history and the lung ultrasound uh, protocol will be applied as mentioned in the earlier slides. Coming to the results, uh, in a total of uh, 20 uh, sample size was taken, it, which includes 40 hemothoraces among 20 patients. Uh, total percentage of males in my study was 55%, total percent of females were 45. CT detected about 14 cases of consolidations. Bilateral consolidations were 11 cases, that is 55%, and right sided were 3 cases. It detected uh, plural effusions, 14 cases of plural effusion, that is 70%. Bilateral with 8 cases, it is 40%. Right sided were only 6 cases. And it also detected about 4 cases of pneumothorax, that is 20%. Right sided were 3 cases, and left sided 1 case, uh, amounting to 15% and 1 case. Ultra coming to ultrasound, it detected 10 cases of uh, consolidation, that is 50%. Bilateral consolidations were 7 cases, and right sided were 3 cases. And uh, detected 16 cases of plural effusions, that is approximately 80%. Bilateral with 8 cases, 40%. Uh, about 40%, right sided were only seven cases, that is 35%, and left sided were was only one case, that is 0.5%. It also detected two cases of pneumothorax, uh, 10%, right sided were two cases. Coming to discussions, we, uh, we found that uh, CT findings were uh, where we found that consolidation, pleural effusion, pneumothorax, that is approximately 70%, 70% and 20% respectively, and ultrasound found uh, found consolidation, pneumothorax, and uh, pleural effusions to be 50, 80, and 10%. Mohsan et al. also independently performed a study with sample size of 40 cases. He detected 11 cases of pneumothorax of 12 by CT, 21 cases of pulmonary consolidation 
of which 21 by CT and 17 cases of peripheral effusion of 19 by CT. Coming to outcome of study, in comparison with CT scan, bedside ultrasound seems to be a valuable substitute in cases where performing CT is problematic. However, CT still remains the gold standard to assess these lung pathologies. There were no conflicts in my study. Coming to the outcome, uh, so we can see that uh, You can see that uh, ultrasound was better in diagnosing a plural effusion compared to CT, but rest of the findings was more sensitive for CT. Only plural effusions, the ultrasound rate was 80%, but CT it was only 70%. So my outcome is like uh, in comparison to CT, ultrasound could be a valuable substitute in cases, but however, CT still remains the gold standard to assess all the lung pathologies. These are my following references. You can see in the image that CT lung window depicting bilateral crescent shaped plural effusions. In figure one, in figure two, it uh, left sided pneumothorax uh, depicting as a black uh, gas shadow uh, adjacent to the lung margin. In ultrasound uh, images, figure three depicts a collapse and a tissue like uh, this thing, tissue like uh, sinusoidal sign, and the large arrow representing a black anechoic region suggesting pleural effusions. And as figure four depicting barcode sign, which is a characteristic of pneumothorax, but there will be no absent of lung sliding moment. Also, it's also called a stratosphere site. Thank you, everyone.